So till now we have covered uh, basic engineering drawings, orthographic projections, isometrics, prospective views, then space geometry, lines, lines planes and intersection of solids. Only last part of this uh, course is remaining that is your development of surface. Before I start the development of surface, let us have a exposure to AutoCAD, how this drawing can be done, uh, you can draw in AutoCADs. So, my colleague will be Dr. Mohan will be taking uh, next uh, one hour about basic features of AutoCAD and basic commands of the AutoCAD that will be uh, and uh, he will explain one basic examples considering either orthographic or isometric how to draw in AutoCAD. Thank you Dr. Patra. Now, I would like to give you information about engineering drawing and that too uh, through AutoCAD software. My base outline of the topic would be about AutoCAD software, the advantage of using AutoCAD software for drafting, the important concept which we would like to have before going for AutoCAD software and familiarity with the user interface of AutoCAD software. And last, how we can draw our first line on AutoCAD. What is AutoCAD software? Basically, it is a tool, it was a, a software application developed by Autodesk Incorporation and primarily used for 2D as well as 3D drawing and basically designing and drafting. Primarily AutoCAD is used for drafting, however now the development has done to, to the extent that we can drawing uh, and render our drawing in a better manner. In our current discussion, we will focus only on 2D drafting. The advantage of drafting using software. The engineering drawings generated very quickly and so as we can modify them as per our modified needs. Possible to dimension the drawing almost automatically and complex 3D geometry is easily rendered in any of the pictorial views. With introduction to machining of a component through CAM that is computer aided manufacturing we can also generate, we can also design and machine free form surfaces using CAD as well as CAM. So, what are the important concept we should know before going for AutoCAD software or for that matter sketching our first line on AutoCAD software. We should at least know about the x axis, y axis or for that matter the concept of a point in a 2D plane. And on this based on the our positioning of 2D of a point on a 2D plane, we can define various point of a sketch on a grid. So, this is a conventional drawing grid which we can have uh, on, uh, on a piece of grass paper also. Here we have drawn two lines which are perpendicular to each other and they are coinciding, they are intersecting on a point which is known as origin. And uh, as you may are aware of this origin, the coordinate of this origin we can consider as 0 comma 0. So, Ironically, we should understand that whatever point we are trying to put on a 2D plane, it should be represented by x comma y, where x is distance which is perpendicular distance of that point from, it is a perpendicular distance 
from x axis from y axis whereas y coordinate y point is perpendicular distance from x axis that means in in this case if we figured out this point for example then i can say it is four five units from y axis so our x component will be 5 and whereas this is 6 units from x axis so our y component will be 6 so the point of uh, the point which i am talking about is will be represented for a 2d plane will be 5 comma 6 so this is our first quadrant as you can very well see and you may be aware of in first quadrant x and y both are positive that means in this region x as well as y will always remain positive as we, so in this sense we can figure out that for first quadrant or in our conventional and uh, when a combination and when which which will be used in two dimensional drafting whatever if we go from the origin towards east this can be marked as east and north so from origin if we go towards east our x component will be positive and similarly if we go towards north it will be again positive so if we we consider two points in first quadrants then all these two points will be positive positive whereas once you go towards the second quadrant as you are aware that you are going towards west direction so x component will be negative since we haven't crossed this x axis so y will remain positive that means for quadrant 1 and 2 y remain positive whereas as we reach third quadrant then since we are away from we are in the uh, west direction as well as we are in the south direction so south west south west quadrant would be negative comma negative similarly for east and south east south it will be positive comma negative why i am why i am talking about this because it will be used when we go for our first line in the autocad software so basically it is a very interesting exercise which we should do as a homework or as a, a practice session for ourselves it is showing x and y and only first quadrant as well as a part of second quadrant so what we can do is we just draw few parallel lines means those parallel lines and uh, try to see the distance should be equal whereas in the y direction also we need to have certain parallel lines which are parallel to x axis this will be let us assume x1 x2 x3 x4 and x5 and these distances will be constant whereas this is y x and y 0 0 so y1 y2 and y3 so on so, and these distances will be common constant so as you can see if a point which is this point if I am talking about this point let us say point A and talk about B so the difference between point A and point B is nothing but positioning of X the point which is mentioned here is 1 whereas it here it is on B it is X component is 2 so that means if any line which is parallel to X axis any line which is parallel to X axis the on that particular line y component will remain constant and if you go by the east as well as west side you will find 
this will remain constant however x axis x component is changing 1 then 2 then 3 so on so forth here 0 because we are on the y axis and minus 1 etcetera etcetera. So, on y axis you will find x will be 0 0 comma y 1 2 3 4 so on and on x axis everything will be means uh, x axis x have some components x 1 x 2 x 3, but y remains 0 on x axis. So, this is our typical classical AutoCAD interface user interface where we can see this is uh, in whatever uh, red we can uh, have it is the workplace work space where we need to draw our lines and this is a typical character which is called cursor which we can figure out means uh, it would inform us about our current status. Here this is a command line where we supposedly send information in a text manner. These are the particular settings of drafting settings snap, grid, ortho, polar etcetera etcetera. Here you can see the our cursors current position it is mentioned here. These are the coordinate system you can see there are three things they are particularly which can be uh, figure out in this user interface like this is a drawing toolbar and this is a modified to modifying toolbar. So, whatever we wish to draw can be figured out or can be taken out from the drawing toolbar and once that drawing is completed or and wish to modify something then these can be done from the modified toolbar means the tools which are required for modifying drawings can be taken out from here whereas whatever we wish to draw that means for the first time if we wish to if we want to do something on the drawing space working space we need to take something from the drawing toolbar palette rest are the layer properties the uh, drafting toolbar means uh, about the setting of uh, the line uh, property of the line and etcetera etcetera. These things we can learn once we go and once we do it ourselves. So, uh, the idea to figure out about this AutoCAD user interface is to just make you familiar about the exact working environment. You can see this is a point whereas, some point is this. So, what is my idea about sending all these things to make you familiar about the AutoCAD user interface. So, 2D sketch for drawing first line using AutoCAD software. The drafting activity completes invoking series of com uh, commands therefore, we need to know about creating environment for better viewing of sketch. We'll touch upon this topic very soon then need to know possible command this is very important means whatever we want to sketch it is to be known to us. So, that we can know about the series of a command which we will be using draw tool draw command as well as modified command if required. So, we can inform about what is our requirement for the sketching of orthographic as well as isometric. Before going to command window or the first command on the uh, auto desk we quickly wrap up the things which we have already learned. Any point on a 2D plane will be represented as x comma y where x is a distance if this is a point on a 2D plane. So, this is x that means line uh, the distance from the y axis and y component will be y. So, on a 2D plane point will be represented x x comma y 
and if you go towards east direction x will remain positive else negative. Similarly, if we go towards north direction y will be positive and else negative. Whatever line parallel to x axis like this x axis if the line is parallel to x axis then y will remain constant and y will remain constant that means value on this point x will be changing whereas y will remain constant right. So, this is quickly wrap up what I had done and currently now we come back to how to draw our first line in a AutoCAD software. We should understand that this is the most important command sometime what happens on a default window of AutoCAD software what happens when we put when we start drawing line. So, our drawing would somehow be represented or seen here or away from the user panel and that is creating problem and we figure out we, we normally not able to see once we not able to see drawing or line then we can assume that we are doing something which is not correct, but need not to worry about. So, first of all that to in order to fix this first of all we need to write on a command line limits as soon as I will I'll show you all these things on the real AutoCAD software once again. So, once you type limits L I M I T S please mind well, mind well this should be there should not be like limit it should be limits because it is a command and it should be very correctly put on the command line else you would not get the correct answer. So, as soon as you put command limits and then enter then you will get specify lower left hand corner means you need to specify this lower left hand corner. You just by default it would be 0 comma 0. So, if it is 0 comma 0 enter again it would ask for specify upper right corner that means this upper right corners this would basically in this would represent the whole rectangle where we need to put our sketch it would be x r or y r or whatever means this will be the uh, this will be based on the size of the sketch which we wish to put on the display area and after put this uh, upper right hand corner uh, specifying upper right corner command will be zoom zoom and then all and it will create a customized drawing area as per our need. So, when we go for uh, any sketch which falls in first quadrant means all the, uh, the all the points for that sketch are in plus x is plus x plus y direction that means we are talking about any sketch on a first quadrant. So, our lower hand limit will be 0 comma 0 or may be plus direction may. and upper the top or upper right hand corner will be like this. So, for any sketch which we are making on first quadrant your lower limit lower left hand limit will be 0 comma 0 whereas, upper right limit will be plus as per your requirement. Similarly, once we go and we have one sketch 
whose all the points are all negative minus x minus y that means we are talking about third quadrant. So, our lower left hand limit will be shifted to this whereas, our upper right hand limit will be 0 comma 0. This we will uh, means we will make one sketch and we will see in our subsequent exercise that how to put limits. So, that we can our sketch can be visualized in proper resolution. So, now again um, we have to come back to AutoCAD software. So, this is typical AutoCAD user interface where you can see everything these are the this is infer constraint then snap mode, grid display, ortho mode these are the drawing settings which we used to do. Here this is draw toolbar line, polyline, circles, radius and here there are certain drop down menu. The center with it says it says about we need to specify center and then radius. Similarly, here center and diameter. Here we need to create a circle using only two end point of the diameter things like that. So, this is draw toolbar, modify toolbar, then properties of the layers and this is where we can see the current position of pointer. We can see this will be changing if we it is very dynamically changing. So, this is a current position of your uh, cursor and it is dynamically changing. First of all we have to see one sketch which we which will be used for AutoCAD x axis and this is y axis 0 comma 0 1 comma 0 2 comma 0 and so on. Similarly, 0 comma 1 and so on. So, let us assume this is our this is our sketch which we would like to draw through AutoCAD software. So, if we go by the absolute coordinates of the points which we will be using for AutoCADs here 1 comma 0 this is 0 comma 0. So, it will be 1 comma 0 and now this is 2 comma 0 the height is 1 unit. So, again this will be 2 comma 1. This is a parallel line which is parallel to y axis. So, here x will remain constant 2, 2 and y will be 2 comma 1. Again 3 comma 1. This line is parallel to x axis therefore, y remains constant. 2.1 uh, 2 comma 1 and then 3 comma 1. So, likewise I delete should be here. Two comma two and two comma three. 1 comma 0 and 1 comma 1, 1 comma 2, 1 comma 3 likewise. So, this is these are the coordinates 
which were which are required to be inserted while drawing this sketch on the autocad so what we have to do is first of all we have to draw we have to mark our active area of display this will be lower left hand limit this will be uh, upper right hand limit if this is the drawing we need to put then the extreme corner is 3 comma 3 somewhere here so we try to create one envelope where our local our lower left hand corner will be 0 comma 0 and upper right hand corner will be 5 comma 5 i think with this setting we will be able to draw this very easily so in this command line we will write limits it ask about lower left hand corner as per our drawing 0 comma 0 is ok we will enter now the upper right hand corner it is 5 comma 5 as per our desired sketch we have put 5 comma 5 then zoom and all now we have to see whether the we have uh, seen we have created our environment or not it says somewhere very near to 0 comma 0 perfectly fine and this is 5 comma 5 that means we are now able to draw this sketch so our next target is to draw one line line it ask about first point our first point will be 1 comma 0 here it is first point is 1 comma 0 then second point 2 comma 0 our second point is like this then 2 comma 1 next point 3 comma 1 again going up it this will be 3 comma 2 next point again this point so but one unit higher so it will be 2 comma 2 again 2 comma 3 1 comma 3 next point 1 comma 2 1 0 comma 1 0 comma 2 and 0 comma 1 come back to 1 comma 1 and now we have a liberty to close this figure either by C or by entering the uh, our first point once again. So I am choosing C. C means close. This is a typical figure which we would like to draw through AutoCAD software. I hope I am clear and you can also be clear on this. As a matter of fact, we can have a very good exercise based on this sketch what we need to do is let me go back to drawing board once again we should figure out about the lower left hand corner it will be a good exercise to have all these things let us have this all four quadrants first quadrant second quadrant third quadrant and fourth what we need to do is since our figure is like this so what we need to do is first of all we have to sketch in first quadrant then try to do is the same if sketch on the second quadrant third quadrant and fourth quadrant for that we need to first basically change the coordinate value to in order to fit in plus plus minus plus minus minus and plus minus 
that means with this exercise we will be able to alter our lo lower land uh, or lower and upper limits lower left hand corner as well as upper left, left hand corner upper right hand corner and every quadrant when we make this sketch will have to have different lower left hand corner and upper right hand corner so it will be a very good exercise to have a first hand in first hand experience on how to create sketch on first of all on your page and then to autocad software let me do it for you once again for the third quadrant for the third quadrant upper right hand corner will be 0 comma 0 however minus 5 and then minus 5 it will be minus 5 comma minus 5 will be lower left hand corner so accordingly we can fix all these things only change will be lower left hand corner or upper right hand corner remaining things we can adjust accordingly this will be an exercise we should do at home so i would like to visit this sketch once again where i have, I have put every coordinates the points of every coordinates of this sketch these are all these coordinates are called absolute coordinate methods and once we draw this sketch on the AutoCAD software we need to first give command line first point second point next point so on so forth we may start from any of these points and the only thing we need to figure out is either go anti clockwise or clockwise if we start from this we need to go cyclically from this point to this and so on so forth and then close else we can start from this point so on so forth however we can see that this is very lengthy very difficult to execute but my suggestion would be always follow absolute coordinate method or after we finish our lecture then we would know that there should be a hybrid approach that means absolute coordinate method as well as coordinate relative coordinate method and polar coordinate method so what is relative coordinate method if we go and see point a and point b it has a relation this relation can be deduced like we we are going towards east direction and we are not going towards north direction means we are traveling on a straight line so once we fixed our start point like 5 comma 5 so what would be our next point it is it is only 5 units away and that too in east side towards east side so in autocad command would be at the rate x or I should say delta x comma delta y this will be command for the next point here we can see delta x will be 5 and delta y will be 0 that means command for b would be at the rate delta x that is 5 comma 0 we can reach this point now 
point um, point B and point C it has a relation. Now it is going upwards again 5 units. So this would give you C point give you at the rate 0. Now delta x is 0 that means we are travelling on a parallel line to a line which is parallel to y axis. Here there is no change in x component. So, it would be at the rate 0 likewise. This we can try on AutoCAD also, but before that I need to cover polar coordinate also. So, for polar coordinate if we look at point A and point B once again then we will see the relative angle between these point are 0 means if we travel from point A to point B angle between these two lines will be 0 and for and the length is 5 unit. So, here in polar coordinates point B will be at the rate distance less than angle this angle will be 0. From B to C again distance is 5 however now the angle is 90 degree as a convention all the angle which are measured in anti clockwise direction will be positive. So, C will be at the rate less than 90 and so on so forth. Here again we have to go towards this side that means angle will be minus 90. Ninety, and this this again this will be one hundred eighty degree. This the angle one hundred eighty degree because we are measuring from this point anticlockwise. So I'll for you I'll be doing for relative coordinate method, polar coordinate method. You will de, do your own. same line command it would ask about first point our first point is 5 comma 5 this is our 5 comma 5 next point is at the rate 5 comma 0 look at this it, it there is 5 display the unit of displacement in the east direction again at the rate 0 comma 5 it goes up correct now we have to go once again towards east 5 comma 0 again towards north direction 0 comma 5 then going backwards at the rate minus 5 comma 0 going upwards again 0 comma 5 then again backward minus 5 comma 0 coming downwards at the rate 0 comma minus 5 going again backward towards west direction minus 5 comma 0 going downwards at the rate 0 comma minus 5 coming towards east once again 5 comma 0 and C correct. See this is how we can draw through relative coordinate methods. I am just showing you on relative method however only certain parts not whole. So, we are here we have reached to 15. So, I will be taking line on 20 comma 5. So, this is my line 20 on 20 comma 5 then I would go 5 less than 0 at the rate 5 less than 90 then at the rate 5 
if we go 0 then what will happen it reaches over here now I need to do some mistake what mistake can I do 5 less than minus 90 it goes downwards so but this is not an intended part so let me escape this and delete this again then select line and this is our specified point which is we can once again reaches as end point through object snap and now at the rate 5 greater than 90 reaches likewise. I think this is interesting this has done to this point and I am sure now you are able to draw probably you can now very well understand that uh, this is a means whatever sketch we have to draw the best approach should be hybrid approach means coordinate uh, absolute coordinate method then relative coordinate method and if required then polar coordinate method. Maybe I can show you one figure as a instruct as an instruction which you should see and which you, you should do through your exercise at home. Here we know this is a point which is which we are knowing only rest the distances we are knowing and the angle. So, what we can do is we should start from this point make it a study like we should start from this point as an absolute coordinate 5 comma 10 means once it is uh, specify about first point. make it 5 comma 10 and once it asks for next point. So, we are travelling west side at the rate minus 5 and y component delta y component 0 at the rate minus 5 0 you will reach over here from there at the rate 0 comma minus 5 you will reach over here from here again at the rate 5 comma 0 you would reach over here now from there to this place since we do not have access to diameter the distance. So, what we would do we would do we would go once again to this place and from the here we will enter it here. So, that we can be able to draw only this portion now after that we will take line command once again reach and specifies uh, our first point as 5 10 go upward at the rate 0 comma 5 reaching over here then at the rate 5 comma 0 reaching over here then at the rate 0 comma minus 5 then we will reach over here and from here we can directly snap to this point and just click this enter and you would know once you measure all the dimension you will find this as 30 degree on its own. This is what we have already told you that whatever drawing you would draw on AutoCAD dimensions as well as angular dimensions linear dimension as well as angular dimension you can automatically construct. Up till now we have drawn sketch on AutoCAD software let me wrap up quickly for this to draw line or for that matter any 
any circle, anything. First step will be set limits, then command will be limits. Set limits, limits may enter, first of all enter, then specify lower left hand corner, enter, specify upper right hand corner, enter, zoom and all. This will create your customized user area. Next command will be line. Once you enter after writing line command, it would ask for specify first point. Once you enter first point and enter, it will ask you about the next point, so on so forth. If it is a regular line, means we have started from some point and completed till the last point, we should write C and it will close the sketch. After this, this is orthographic projection of a sketch on a 2D plane. Now, I would like to tell you about the orthographic projection, isometric projection of the sketch. Isometric projection is nothing but a 3D representation of sketch on a 2D plane. This is a typical cube which we drawn, which we already drawn so many times. So, in order to draw this cube or I should say isometric view of cube through AutoCAD software, let me show it. Go to grid display, the third button from the left, right click, go to setting and this is the user, this is the interface which is opening. Here you can see snap type grid snap is rectangular snap. So, here in order to make an isometric snap, go to isometric snap. You can see now the snap x spacing has changed to something different. Please see once again. Currently, it is snap grid x spacing is 0 0.5, x y spacing 0 0.5. As soon as we change to isometric snap, it changes to 0 0.6. That means, now the computer has Un, uh, has understood about the your requirement, then ok. You can now very well see the kind of cursor you have, it is not that it was uh, at which was already specified, now it has changed to something different. You can have this is a left pan, while pressing while toggling with F 5, it would change to isoplane it says isoplane top, again isoplane right and this is isoplane left where this is the default setting, correct. Let me draw the same picture from the in a isometric plane, again the same command line specify first point. specify second point, next point and C. This is left hand side plane of cube. Now, we have to draw top side. So, we have to toggle it to top plane, line command select this point, next point and it gives top plane. Again, so 
so this is isometric view of a cube which we have already seen in the picture now i want to draw a circle on this plane so let me take this top plane the circle in orthographic plane will be ellipse in isometric view so now it is all ready to ellipse on a uh, isometric view so here there are three options arc center and iso circle for us to draw a center uh, a circle on the top plane i need to go for iso circle so it would ask for specify center of an iso circle just orbit and now you can see i on a circle on a top side of a, uh, the plane i am able to draw circle we can draw this circle once again over here also but for that we need to toggle to left side again ellipse iso circle specify center of iso circle and specify diameter or radius and this is a circle on this plane ellipse iso circle is specify center and circle so this is how we can draw isometric view of a sketch on a 2d plane i hope everybody in a position now to figure out and to how to draw orthographic projection of an sketch on a autograd software as well as isometric here i wish to tell you that there are certain things like which 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 can be called as conventions which we need to follow very religiously because these conventions have been figured out has been deduced after so many research so we need not to question on those researches or on those conventions if we wish to use this software or for that matter any software we should religiously follow those convention in order to execute the commands efficiently thank you